Are you looking for a little inspiration to spruce up your market booth this season? Maybe this video will help you. Hi, my name is Jordan. I am the founder and creator of Chill Babe Candle Co. And I did my first market season this past winter and I happen to be very proud of my booth. Now, when I first started, I had no idea what direction to go in for booths, um, booth design, booth displays. Um, and it made me panic a little bit and I needed some inspiration. Um, so that's what I'm here to do today. If you don't have any ideas of how you want to decorate your booth, then this video is for you because I'm showing you how I did mine. I'm also telling you where I got everything as well. So there's a lot to cover, so let's just get into it. So first of all, this is my booth. When it came to my booth, I really wanted to make sure that my branding was cohesive. So with that, I went with whites, acrylics, marble, and gold. Um, I really wanted my candles and my wax melts to stand out. So I think the first thing that you'll notice are the curtains with the fairy lights behind it. Um, both of these things came from Amazon and I will link them below. The reason I chose to have fairy lights behind the curtains was because I wanted people to walk into the market and immediately have something of mine that catches their eye. I also really wanted my booth to feel cozy. Um, I mean, that's the whole point of candles, right? To get cozy. So I wanted my booth to have that same vibe. The fairy lights are battery operated. So if you're out side or like in a field, one of those markets, these lights will actually work there as well. You don't have to worry about hooking them up to an, like another power source. Um, you don't need extra stress when it comes to your decorations and your booth design. So having them battery operated was really great. And it also comes with a little remote. So when it came to tables, I'm lucky enough that the market I go to provides the tables. Um, I just needed the tablecloths. I started my first market with a regular tablecloth and I just, I wasn't vibing with it. Like it was wrinkly, it was difficult to keep on. I needed to make sure that the entire front was covered so you couldn't see all of my, you know, the mess that was underneath the table. Um, and it was just, they just seemed like a hassle and they were, yeah, like I said, they were wrinkly and they just didn't look that nice. So then we switched to these tablecloths. Um, they have elastic on the bottom, they're very stretchy and they were incredibly easy to just throw on the table. Like it takes me two seconds to put them on. Um, I don't have to worry about wrinkles or anything like that. Um, I did, I, I do need access to underneath the table. So all I did was cut a slit in the back so it makes it easy to grab things that I need. When it came to displaying my candles, I really wanted to work with different heights. Um, for those of you who don't know, I have a background in interior design as well as I used to work as a merchandiser for a really big retail store, a furniture store. Um, so I do think that this worked in my favor. When you're trying to display things, it's really important to work with different heights. You need to draw the eyes somewhere because if you just lay things flat, people's eyes are going to scan over it. So the more height you have and the different heights you have, it creates a very interesting look and it catches people's attention. So um, the, the most impactful display item I have is this table. Um, it's acrylic, it's iridescent, it definitely works with my theme or with my brand. Um, this table is actually, yeah, so what it is, it's a table that I have flipped on its side. So then not only could I use the bottom portion, but then the side leg would act as another top um, and just add some height there. I got this table from Home Goods. Um, it was in clearance. I don't know if they still have it. Um, if this is something you're looking for, then I'm putting out all the good energy that they still have it, but it was on clearance when I found it. Um, unfortunately, I cannot link to it, um, but maybe I can find something similar online. Um, 
But yeah, that's definitely my favorite display piece that I have. So on the bottom part of that table, um, I have these two little baskets that I also got from Home Goods. They were originally, I think they were silver, but we spray painted them gold because I just wanted all of the accent metals to be cohesive and again, go with my branding. Um, I, all I did was, yeah, we just spray painted them and then I just added some crinkled cut paper um, and then put my mini tins in there and I think it worked pretty nicely. It was a nice way to display them. Again, if I can find something similar online, I will and I will link them down below. Another one of my larger display pieces was this little shelving unit stand thing. Again, I got this at Home Goods. I'm so sorry I don't have a link to it. If I can find something similar, I will 100% link it down below. Basically what I'm saying is go to Home Goods, guys. There's so much good stuff there. Um, but again, I wanted to create some more layers, um, some more levels. I really like the way it looked. Again, to create even more different heights, um, I have these little acrylic stands. These I got on Amazon, they are linked below. I have them in clear as well as iridescent. They go with my branding and they just add a little more height instead of having to have all of my candles just laying flat on the table. Um, and these are also really great photography props. One thing to keep in mind is that I know that um, a lot of times buying things for your display at a market can feel like you're spending a lot of money, but at the end of the day, it can also be used as a photography prop for when you take product photos. So you're getting way more use out of them than you think you would. I will also note that these acrylic stands, um, display shelves, the little acrylic things, um, they come in packs of three. So each pack has three different sizes and it just, it's definitely worth money. Now in the middle of my table, I have a little, um, marble tray. Again, I got it from home goods. Um, but I really wanted a, a spot at my booth where people could smell every different scent. Um, so that's why here I have the section with the little uh, heart tray, which is pink and marble. So my brand colors, you know, they're there. And um, with the sign that says, stop and smell me, because it's, I think it's important to guide people. Um, a lot of people can be a little too nervous to touch things initially, but I found that the sign that says stop and smell me um, really caught people's attention. I got some weird comments, uh, but mostly, you know, good comments, people stopped to smell the candles and a lot of times that led to sales. The frames are from Target. Um, I'll see if I can link those. They're really nice. They come in a few different sizes. And um, yeah, at a market, it's incredibly important to make sure that you have business cards. Um, so I had to make sure that I had a business card stand. And this one I I got at Home Goods. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Home Goods really does have a lot of good stuff. But if I find something that's similar, again, I'll link it again. It's just gold and marble fits with the aesthetic and has a little section for pens or any other little pieces of paper or like cards that you want to hand out um you can do that with this and then for my wax melts this was something i struggled with because i didn't necessarily want something super bulky um and a lot of you know wax melt stands are quite bulky, including the one that I have. Um, however, this I got on Amazon, so I will link below. Uh, they have lots of different colors to choose from. I went with clear. Um, I just didn't, I, sometimes I find that if you go with a yellow plastic over time, it will yellow. Um, not to say that the clear one won't, but I, you know, sometimes it's a hit or miss with white and sometimes it's off white and I just don't want to deal with that. So I went with clear. Um, I'm very happy with my decision. Um, it really allows my wax melts to pop and yeah, 
If you're looking for a great wax melt holder, it also spins like a lazy season. So the more you have on it, the better. You can also, I mean, you don't even have to use this for wax melts. You can use this for jewelry or anything you sell. Then I also have this stand for my packaging. So when my customers buy a candle, I like to make sure that I box it up as well as put it in a bag. Um, and I needed a stand to hold everything that I needed. Originally I was using this stand for excess candles, but it turns out um, I had too many candles. So um, I decided to use it for packaging and honestly it works so, so well. It's perfect. Um, again, this is a home goods purchase. Um, the sides were a light wood color, but I wasn't, I wasn't digging it. So we spray painted the sides gold and the blue again works with my brand colors. It's all about pastels and yeah, it's a great thing to have, you know, your box is ready to go, your bag's right there, your thank you cards, stickers, or any little freebie that you put inside, just to have it all in one place so you can pack it all, package it all up and go, here you go, and your customer leaves with a really cute branded purchase. And how can I forget to mention this giant thing holding all of my candles. This is actually an Amazon find and I'm, I'm obsessed with it. It's easy to take down, it's easy to put up. Um, it holds a lot of candles. Um, they have multiple colors to choose from. Um, we did spray paint some of it gold. The, um, the bars, they're not really bars, they're plastic, um, that hold the shelves up. We spray painted those gold. Those were a white kind of off-white color, but I just felt gold would be better. Um, but yeah, I will also link that below. Of course, you can't go to a market without a way to accept payment. So I have a card reader as well as a cash box. So my card reader is from Shopify. Um, I believe it was $50, including shipping and everything. Um, it's definitely worth the purchase. And the cash box is an Amazon find. If I missed anything in this video, I will make sure that I leave a link below to where you can find it on Amazon or anywhere. Um, if I can't find a link, I will at least tell you where I got it. I hope you got some inspiration from this video. Um, I know how daunting designing a booth can be, but it can also be very simple yet beautiful and effective and catch eye-catching. And um, yeah, I hope this, you know, helped you out a little bit. Like I said, I'm gonna try to leave everything I can linked below. If I can't find links for it, I will link something similar or just say where I got it, like home goods. Um, you know, a lot of times they'll still have some of the same things. If not, they're very similar. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. Um, if you would like to hear all about my first market experience, I will leave that video in a card here somewhere. Um, and yeah, I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye.